Okay, this is the ROG Zephyrus G15. Let's open up. I actually got this for my birthday. So let's see how this goes. Whoa. Got like a PlayStation bag going. Nice. I haven't bought a brand new laptop probably I guess it ain't been that long about five years four years the crazy thing I had a Lenovo Yoga this is almost just a stand of Lenovo Yoga that is nice it's been an inch let's do some references it's a Roku remote and it's a local remote. I think we got two galaxies stacked up. So pretty good, not that bad. Not too heavy. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, that's dope. It popped up. I guess I didn't have it up early enough last time. Like something here. So you know what? I was thinking I need to ask the questions that or answer the questions that I will ask. Because sometimes I search the videos and I need some answers. Uh, I had a Lenovo Yoga and it didn't have a dedicated card. And I thought since it's an i7, I could run some games. And nah, it didn't really work. I think I was able to do Fortnite and it was super fuzzy. Of course, you can do retro games. You can do that in anything. You can do that on a Linux box. Uh, I'm not even, not no insult to Linux. I'm talking about like Raspberry Pis and stuff like that. Um, another thing I always want to know. What about the cord then? Look how long this cord is. All right, I'm almost six feet. And this is my unscientific cord length. So that's at least six feet of cord. So for the parents out there, there's my couch. Got it plugged up under the couch. As you see, look at the nerf thing. You can tell I'm a dad, right? Let's see how far back I can go with this laptop. I'm gonna close it. All right, that's stretched out. So a lot of times, for the gaming computer, it's gonna stay plugged up, so you need to know how far you can travel. So I got a six sectional, so let's count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six steps away from the couch. Nice, nice, real long cord. Look at it. And it's beautiful. Um, I, I mess with Max. I used to use Max for years. So before I, because I used to just do like console gaming. You want to see there? This is my kids' playroom slash our family room. So we got the PlayStation, the Xbox. Um, so big gamers. The thing is, none of my boys are getting older, and since they don't want us to do split screen anymore, one uh, used the PlayStation, the other used the Xbox, and then they always want their dad to play. I was playing on my Android. That's the reason why I dropped the iPhone, so I can play like Fortnite, of course, because I have an eight-year-old, ten-year-old, um, and that wasn't working out too well. So I said, "Well, let me get a gaming PC and see how that works." And that's what we came up with. Uh, but speaking of a MacBook, you lack a lot of ports. You gotta have dongles. This here, you got the RJ45, so you got Ethernet. You can push it out to the TV. So let's say if I'm at a hotel, uh, if we're on a family trip, um, you wanna play a video, you got the HDMI cord there. Or to be honest, I can hook this up to the TV if I wanna play uh, a specific game. The kid's going to sleep and I got a um, more Adult game I want to play, not nothing dirty, but you know stuff that you don't want your kids to see, blood and guts. Um, I could hook it up to the TV when they sleep, if I don't want to use the monitor. Uh, USB C, this should have power delivery, um, so that if I don't have my big charger, I could just use the normal chargers. Like I said, I got Androids, we got iPad Pros and stuff. 
so we can use us we have plenty of USB C chargers in the house uh, then there's a second one uh, and you can actually do USB C out and you get a stronger HDMI signal if you want to hook up 4k and this is a 3070 so it should be able to play 4k with no no issues at least like you know like a casual game or especially like if you want to play a movie or something um another us no this is actually an sd slot that's pretty cool um so you can they got high capacities uh micro sc uh sd uh, cards now so we can slide that in uh i got a couple of gig sd cards especially if you want to do like retro games you can put it on the sd card and slide it in there then a uh, old school usb the classic right there it's funny because it, i think it's one i think i discounted one Oh, two. I'm sorry. Disrespecting that one on that side. Um, weird thing, this plug is in the middle. I think Dave 2D, that guy's famous. That's who I want to be. <laughs> uh, he said this plug being here, that's kind of weird. Instead of being at the edge or in the back. But that's okay. And then, get him the chance to see me lift it with one hand. All right. Let's get this baby started. Let's see how it looks. First, turn it on. Ooh, a click. RGB lights, y'all see the lights changing? Uh, from what I read, they don't change individually. They all change together. Uh, ooh, nice. Gamer baby. Um, volume down, volume up, a quick mute button. Wife's talking to me, I can say, hey, huh? You know, you press it real quick. Uh, this is uh, the gaming key, so you can get inside the um the gaming interface to adjust uh, clocks boost and all that um escape all your function keys nice little function key row oh the screen is bright and beautiful that's nice you know you're gonna hear cortana in a minute hopefully i don't wake everybody up hi there I'm Cortana, Ooh. and I'm here to help. I can hear the speakers already. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all your play. The voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just oh, select the, the little microphone icon towards wow. the bottom of your screen. So these are stereo speakers. If you need That's an assistive cool. screen, and then up here is press the Windows, uh, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to lights, turn on narrator. battery power. Okay, uh, enough intro. Charging. Let's dig in. Um, Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? You got the function, alt, control. Cool stuff. Um, what else? Delete key. Oh, and I heard it's no print ski key. Print screen key. I use that all the time. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I know it's another command I can use, but that's the snip key, fan speed. Uh, lighting, I'm assuming that's the uh, brightness. I don't want to say nothing wrong, y'all gonna crucify me. But there we are. Okay, don't let me hold you up. Just I did my love this big, yes. huge track pad. Like I said, I'm about 5'10, I want to say 5'11. It's G First impressions. I really like the uh, Zephyrus G15. Uh, the best for commenting on how it wasn't as powerful as a desktop or it could be some uh, thermal throttling. Uh, I haven't experienced this so far. I plan to upload some videos uh, of me with uh, the gameplay. But I've been more than happy with it. Uh, I told you in the uh, first impressions that um, I wanted to use it for uh, Fortnite. <laughs> and I know that's kind of simplistic, but when you got kids, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, and I'm playing over 160 frames per second, uh, ultra, um, and it's going smooth. The fan do get loud, but that keeps it cool. It's very thin profile. Actually, the uh, the thing that saves this computer, the thing that makes this computer stand out is that uh, Ryzen 9 card, the uh, 5000 series. Um, that Ryzen 9 is a beast. Right now, I got a uh, Google Meet going as I'm observing the teacher. Then uh, they got some downtime right now. Uh, I got uh, Chrome open with a couple of tabs. I got uh, this thing recording on Wondershare. I have uh, Arc downloading in the background. Just a lot of stuff going on. Let me show you. 
get this computer going. Uh, got it hooked up to a mouse. This USB-C, which is amazing. Uh, as you see, I'm just just going through it. Got an extra monitor going. Um, you see the little tabs. Try not to show you out too much information. Uh, but all those things is going. Um, just this is just crazy, man. This like it's amazing how powerful this machine is. Um, so. I'm in a dungeon right now. I get a little behind the scenes look. Uh but I'm really trying to uh just try to put this thing through its paces, let you guys see what I see. For those that ask, like I said, I want to answer the questions. Yes, you can game on it. Yes, it is fast. Uh it's comparable. My kids got a, a one, a PlayStation 5 and the other Xbox One. Uh so they both open up their separate profiles when playing Fortnite. Uh my screen actually looks better on my Zephyrus while I'm playing. I'm not trying to get the people to hate on me. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying it was working better at the time. Uh in this particular situation uh... fast the screen is uh, small enough so i don't see the pixelation i know it's not 4k um, but the colors seem to be rich maybe it's just my tv that i have i i got a cheap uh... no knock to high sense but i got like a you know i just basically found the cheapest uh, 4k tv i could find uh... To, but um, so i'm very very happy with that also it's small and, and light as a macbook uh... i was a big macbook guy uh... but i wanted to game so it's, it's small and light as a macbook uh... and uh... the speakers is the only problem i'm hearing a lot of distortion and it's weird i would take it back but i'm not sure if it's a hardware issue because on when i'm playing music it sounds great but when i'm playing youtube videos it's muffled so i don't, I don't know what that is uh... so hopefully you guys can comment if y'all can figure that out i've been on uh... reddit trying to figure out things uh... i changed the settings a little bit um, i put it on dynamic that sounded a little better uh... so all those things being said uh... very happy with it